Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video and this time we're going to be talking about the Curves tool. I know this tool is confusing to many people because it was confusing to me as well. So what is the Curves tool? A Curves tool is a tool which allows you to make precise brightness, contrast, and color adjustments. So the Curves tool is an alternative to these tonal sliders here and the color balance sliders. So when do you actually use it? Why would you use the Curves tool if these sliders are already present? Well, you use the Curves tool if these sliders do not give you the effect that you want. So for example, if I do a shadows adjustment to this, maybe this look is not what you want. So in the case of Pixelmator, sometimes these shadows adjustments or maybe the highlights adjustments are not just doing it for you. And that's when you would use the, the Curves tool as an alternative. Right, so how do you get to the Curves tool? So to bring it up, just go to Format, Color Adjustments, and Curves, and you can see that the Curves tool will appear. At first glance, it doesn't look like a curve. It actually just looks like a line. So how does this Curves tool work? So the Curves tool, this line here, represents the tones in the image. So the, the leftmost point in this line represents the blackest points, while the rightmost point represents the whitest points. So this represents the, the tones from the blackest to the whitest. Okay, so how does this work then? So basically what you wanna do is just move the points up or down to brighten or darken it. So let's say this black point here, you can adjust it up and that will brighten the blacks. And for the, for the whites, you can also move it down like this, and that's going to darken the whites. Now you notice that even though I'm, I'm moving down the rightmost point, it affects all the other tones as well. So it, it does not work in isolation. You can add more points simply by clicking on the curve, right? So let's say I wanna add a point here. You can have a curve there. And in this case, if you want to brighten up, just move it up, or if you wanna darken it, just darken it. So that's basically how it works. You can add as many points as you want, like so, and you can darken. You can just move it up like so in any way that you want. All right? So that is how you add points and adjust this curve. To remove points in Pixelmator Pro, you simply drag the points out like so. Just drag it out and then you will remove the points. So how do you make adjustments to the image then, knowing this behavior? So in this case, obviously it is underexposed. So all you need to do is just brighten up the image, right? So we can just add a point here, maybe somewhere here. You can move this point around anyway, right? Okay, and then you just move the, move the image up. So you can see the blacks are really overpowering the image. So we can also move the blacks up like so. So you can see as I brighten this, it is brightening the, the shadows here, but it's also hitting the highlights, right? So what you can do is decrease the brightness of the highlights. You can make that adjustment here simply by adding a point and then just decreasing the whole thing like so. There you go. And that looks pretty good. So that's the before and the after, okay? So this type of curve, as you can see, is what you call a reverse S curve. This is one of the more common curves you would use in making adjustments. The other type of curve you would use typically is just brightening it. If it's just a brightness curve, just move the curve up like that. You can also darken an image if it is overexposed and you just lower it like that. So these are the common curves you would normally use. Another common curve would be what you call an S curve. So the S curve will increase the contrast so for this image, let's say you want to enhance the contrast. So again, just form an S. So you brighten up a little bit here and then darken it. So that will basically enhance the contrast. So what are some of the tips when using curves? Well, first, the most important thing is you want your curves to be smooth. You don't want it to be jagged, like, like abrupt like this, or your things like exaggerated like that. That will introduce this type of posterization. So, so you might lose some tones here and it'll look very unnatural. So you try to keep your tones 
very smooth, not too drastic as much as possible. Yeah, not too drastic. All right, so one thing you might notice here is there is an RGB here. So you have a choice of whether you want to brighten just the reds, the greens, and blues. And this has to do with the color balance. But um, when you do RGB, it means you're brightening all colors together, right? The entire color, red, green, and blue. Now, there is an alternative here, if I may reset this, called luminance. So what luminance does is it'll, it'll brighten or darken the tones, but it won't affect the saturation. So it just brightens without affecting the saturation. So this is actually my recommended way of brightening so that you can brighten the tones and adjust the saturation separately. One nice thing about Pixelmator Pro is it allows you to make curves adjustments on just parts of an image. Okay, so let me demonstrate that. Let's take a look at this example right here. Okay, so again, I'll just go into the color adjustments and then just go down to curves. So as you can see this image here, there's some parts which I want to adjust. So let's say if I want to brighten this dark portion here. Right, I want to brighten it, then adjust the sky like that. The effect isn't really that great. So in such a case, you might want to make the curves adjustment to certain parts of an image. So I'm just going to reset this. So we're going to use curves with adjustment layers. All right, so I'm just going to press Q on my keyboard. Make sure this is set to add. And then I'm just going to make this adjustments. Okay, so you can see that the mask is selected. So we can just brighten the selected portion now. So you can see it's just affecting the selected portion of the image. You can see a little bit now more detail in this rock formation. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select this foreground and add some contrast to it. So I'm just going to press Q on the keyboard. Make sure that it's set to add. Just go ahead and do the selection here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that's selected. Once again, we can just add the adjustment layer. As you can see, the mask has been created. Let's just put some contrast into this foreground. So we're going to create the S curve to do that. Like so. So I'm just make sure it's a smooth curve without abrupt adjustments. So next, let's just lower the brightness of the sky. It looks to me a little bit washed out. So again, press Q on the keyboard. Make sure it's set to add. And then just go select the sky here. Okay. And then let's just add a new layer. Color adjustments. Just decrease the brightness by dragging down on the curve. And there you go looks a lot better. And of course, with these color adjustments, you can adjust the colors as well. So we can just move here to the light panel. Okay, so we're just gonna just make sure the blues are a little bit darker. Let's make sure we select the blues and lower the brightness of that. All right now, if you make any mistakes in your selection, then you can always just refine the selection here. So let's just click refine mask. All right, so you can see I, I missed the sky peering through this, this house here. We're going to make sure to add to the mask. So we're going to just click on this, and then we'll just add it like so. So as you can see, I'm using the Refine Edge brush so that it will use some intelligence to detect the edges. And you can see Pixelmator does a great job of that. Really impressed with this. There you go. And just click Apply. And a much better selection now. All right, so this was the before and the after. Before and after. So that is making curves adjustments on selected parts of an image, basically using local adjustments with curves. This is something not every photo editor has. This is a nice feature of Pixelmator Pro because not all raw photo editors allow you to use curves with local adjustments, right? And finally, let's talk about adjusting color with curves. All right, so here is an image which I shot with the wrong settings. It is obviously too warm. However, we can use curves to reduce the warmth of this image. So let me demonstrate that. So again, let's go to the curves tool. So in this case, we're going to reduce the warmth by adjusting each color channel here. So as you can see here right now, it's set to RGB. Any curves adjustment will affect all the colors in the image. 
Now in this case, because it is skewed to the warm tones, what we can do is we can add more of the cooler tones, which is the blues. So we can choose the blue channel here, and then we can just increase the, the brightness of the blue channels. So you can see now that the reddish, the warm tones now are actually quite decreased. Adjusting the tones like this reduces the power of, of the reds, but it also overexposes the highlights here. So what we can do is just focus on the mids and shadows, and so we can just lower the effect in the highlights. So that's one way we could reduce the, the warmth. We could also reduce the warmth by just decreasing the reds here. So let's just go to the red channel, and we can also just decrease that. All right, so you can see now it taking effect. And how about the greens? Let's just see the greens do anything to it. So if I enhance it, it's no good because it makes it too green. If I lower it, Maybe a little bit lower is, is, is a good thing. And finally, let's make some exposure adjustments here. So we'll just go to the luminance. And then I'm just going to brighten up some of the shadows here. Just a tad, right? Just like that. And I use a reverse S curve here. So that's a reverse S curve. Okay, so you have precise adjustments there, more precise adjustment there. And let's just compare. So this is the before and the after. Before and the after. So that's how you would adjust color of balance with curves. So that's the curves tool in Pixelmator Pro. It's not as hard after all, don't you think? So just to summarize what the curves tool is, it is an alternative to the tonal sliders and color balance sliders. As you've seen, it allows you to make more precise adjustments because you can adjust any part of the curve to suit the way that you want. You can even make the adjustments selectively with curves, which is a great feature not all raw photo editors support. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share this content to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.